Beyond Drew TV here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another episode here of Pine Mountain Sanctuary. So this is episode... I don't even know. <laughs> I didn't even look before recording and I've been out of the loop. I'm sure many of you know I haven't really made any videos in the past month or so. And the rest of the crew uh, being uh, mainly Savannah and uh, Zoof there. Because <laughs> uh, S. Dan and myself uh, both kind of lost inspiration for Planet Zoo around the same time. So uh, yeah, if I remember right, the last few episodes have both been up on Savannah and Zoof's channel. And holy heck a -rooney, if you haven't been keeping up with those... Um, episodes and everything do be sure to go back and check those out because uh yeah when i loaded into the uh project here it was kind of my first time loading in and seeing everything like i just said in, in about three weeks to a month essentially um, i just got really busy with a brand new job that has taken up all of my uh extra time basically when i get home from work i am in the mood to not be in a creative mood but kind of to play a mindless game uh, if you know how that goes kind of playing like grand theft auto and dead by daylight and uh some mlb the show like just basically games that they take tell me what to do and I don't have to think of you know anything to kind of do with them uh, so that's been my mindset the last few weeks there but Anyways, all that out of the way, um, yeah, glad to be back in Pine Mountain Sanctuary, and what a good time uh, to be building in Pine Mountain Sanctuary, because what the heck, we have a new DLC out, don't we? And uh, yeah, I know this video is coming out a few days after the release of the DLC, so I'm sure by now, most of you, if not all of you who are watching this, do have the DLC and are playing around with it. But yeah, what do you think, first off, what do you think of the uh, DLC? Are you enjoying it? Do you like all the animals that we got in it? Um, from my point of view, just real quick, um, as a builder, I'm primarily a builder in uh, the Planet games there, um, but as from a builder's uh, standpoint, I'm actually pretty satisfied with this um, with this pack. Uh, I would have liked to have had a few scenery items to build with, and we did get a, a little bit of things in there, right? We got some uh, dead sticks, dead branches to uh, build with, some really cool signs and stuff. But overall, this is an animal pack, and uh, but it would have been really cool to get a few uh, scenery items to kind of play around with, to kind of build with, and everything. But um, yeah, you know that's not a big deal because again, I think the animal lineup that we have this time around uh, is really really good. And speaking of that lineup. What we're doing today, I know I haven't talked to uh, Diddly Squat about what we're doing in the video. Uh, we are building a cougar enclosure today. So we are, I, I took a few inspirations here, uh, two inspiration photos uh, for this build here. And the first of which is that kind of uh, the cage that you see there. So that is the outdoor, uh, I, I say like the front outdoor section. There's two sections with the main like backstage building kind of separating them out uh, for one cougar. I was doing some research and it does look like uh, cougars are very solitary uh, animals for the most part. Um, unless they have like cubs or you know uh, anything like that. But uh, so yeah, we did go with just the one, I believe it's a female uh, cougar for our build here. Um, but yeah, that's again, that's kind of the idea that I'm going with here is that the front of of it there is kind of a uh, viewing area for guests to view them in a like a climbing cage I guess you'd say because we're gonna put some uh, logs and some climbing areas inside that um, little cage area there but then the bulk of the enclosure is gonna be in the back here and you kind of see the big open area um, just behind this backstage building and that's again where the bulk of the um, of the enclosure will be so uh, where we're at in the zoo here if you kind of know where we're talking about I guess <laughs> we're kind of like right in the middle of the park right now we're right in the middle of the project there. Uh, so we're actually right next door to Savannah's Eagles and Zeus's um Oh, it's a bear of some sort, of course, because that's the whole thing with this, uh, this zoo, right? We, we're doing a sanctuary for bears, so uh, there's a bear of some sort. I can't remember which one, but yeah, we're right next door to the eagles for the most part, right up on this ledge, and uh, originally was not going to try and fit a uh, an enclosure in here because it didn't really look like it was going to have uh, basically enough room, uh, essentially. And, and really, to be honest, it didn't really have enough room. Uh, we kind of made some more room, but I really like how it turned out. But yeah, we're just up here on this cliffside here. And uh, yeah, I think it turned out really cool because you get views of this uh, enclosure, especially the back half of it, um, from a lot of different vantage points in the zoo. And I think that's really cool. And uh, I know we've talked about the terrain changes and all that fun stuff in this zoo a lot uh, between everyone's videos. But again, I think that's, you know, a really big selling point uh, why a lot of the builds in this project have turned out just like so amazing because, um, yeah, you just see wherever you build in this area, it's either a little bit taller, a little bit lower, so you're just always getting these different variations of, in uh, terrain height, and, and uh, yeah, again, it just really makes for these really cool um, views and vistas and all that kind of fun stuff um, as we go forward. So yeah, here we go, starting on the back half of the um, of the enclosure here. The first iteration of this, this is like the second or third, I always kind of edit down the videos a little bit to kind of, you know, get the fluff out, right? We just want to see the good stuff for the most part there, but um, this is the third iteration, and the first two um, I didn't have this mesh fence. I actually had the I had the um, 
uh, oh gosh, what do they call it? A cor uh, corrugated, the corrugated fence where you couldn't really see through it. And then, yeah, like I said, I, I thought it'd be kind of cool since we are right on this ridge line here um, that's kind of right above the guest walking paths and everything to kind of make it mesh so you can kind of just look up into it. And I kind of play with that by putting some uh, some rocks close up to the mesh and everything so that the cougar can kind of climb up and can see it better. We'll get there in just a little bit though, right? So, um, but yeah, no, so anyways, uh, kind of going off of the North America DLC talk. So what is everyone's favorite animal uh, so far for the DLC? I'm building for the cougar because the cougar is definitely my favorite favorite one um, from the pack so far so uh, yeah I think it goes I'm not gonna be able to name them all because I always I always end up forgetting a few of them but I know the cougar is like my favorite the American alligator is my least favorite and I know a lot of people are gonna go oh, what um, I should preface by saying it's only my least favorite because I feel like we've had the American alligator in game for over a year now because uh, Leaf and Lion Rider, or it might have just been Nicholas Lion Rider, uh, he made an amazing, like it looks exactly like the in-game model that we have right now, but he made a uh, damn near perfect uh, American alligator way back in the day of uh, Planet, well not way back in the day, but uh, way back in the day of Planet Zoo, and uh, yeah, S. Dan, uh, Wolf and myself used it a lot for our bro, um, what was it called? Not the Bro Nation, the uh, Beyond Wolf Nature Preserve. I, I know the names of my projects. <laughs> uh, we used it a lot for the Bro Nation, or I did it again, the Beyond Wolf Nature Preserve, a whole bunch. So if you watched um, our series on that, you'll probably uh, remember we used the American Alligator in there. So that's the only reason why I rank the American Alligator so low. Um, I also rank um, the Moose a little bit low, and I, um, I still have the same complaint I've had since I saw it first in the trailer, which um, I've seen Moose, like, you know, a real moose in person a few times, actually. Um, once at a, not a zoo, it was kind of like this, like a sanctuary up in Wisconsin. Um, and twice through, um, I guess not in person, but through my uncle's, uh, my uncle likes to travel up north a lot, so he has like videos of uh, moose. But anyways, the whole point of that being, they just don't really look like, the ones in game don't look like the moose that I've seen. And it's, uh, the moose that I've seen have really thick, black, almost matted down fur. And I feel like the moose in game that we have now kind of have the lion effect, where the lion in game kind of looks very cartoony, uh, very polished. It doesn't have a lot of, um, I don't know, it just doesn't really look like an African lion like that you see out in the wild. And the same thing with the moose. I feel like it's almost cartoony looking, a little bit like dumbed down. The fur isn't as like matted down. It's not dark enough either. Um, like I've never really seen a dark brown moose. They've always been like almost black. Uh, in a sense, so that's why I don't really rank that one as high um, in my list and everything. Uh, um, so yeah, but anyways, I do have a, a list. I made a whole big list on a stream the other day. I can't really remember all the other animals. I know I like the Arctic fox. I know <laughs> I'm going ADHD fully right now. Uh, the Arctic fox is pretty awesome. Have you all seen the uh, animation that the Arctic foxes do, which is the jumping up in the air and <laughs> like nose diving into the snow? That's pretty awesome. So anyways, yeah. Um, all that being said, I do think the uh, the animal selection that they have for this to go around is really really good. Uh, it might be a bit of a home but I do think out of the two animal packs that they have released, the um, between the Southeast Asia pack and now the North America pack, I do think the North America pack had a lot better lineup that people are going to be uh, using um, kind of more so, uh, you know, more often and everything. So um, as of right now, in the um, actual build there, kind of tell what's going on. We're building on the backstage area just a little bit. And uh, honestly, between myself and Zoof, we still got to get Savannah and S-Dork, S-Dan on the backstage bandwagon a little bit there. But between Zoof and myself, I just kind of go back and forth between um, the backstage buildings that we've already done uh, and just kind of keep using all of the blueprints and stuff because it's kind of like we already have them out. It's like, no need to keep reinventing the wheel type thing. No need to keep rebuilding the wheel over and over again. Just kind of take the materials that we already have and kind of plop them down. Like, like the, uh, the backstage door. I know I've used Zoof's backstage uh, in and out habitat door uh, in every single one of my builds so far because it is it's perfect. So that's really the great thing about these kind of uh, doing projects. I think going forward, I will still have solo projects. I just don't know um, up until maybe Planet Coaster 2, but for Planet Zoo, I don't think I'll be doing like a solo Thornton Hills Zoo type build um, anymore. I think doing these group projects is awesome. You can run ideas off each other. You can, you know, take inspiration from someone else's build. If you're not feeling like building, someone else usually does kind of feel like building. So, man, yeah, uh, group projects are just the way to go uh, for the most part, I think, there. So, uh, but hey, uh, just so you know, we're actually going to be jumping into a live portion uh, of the video because I only did get one night. I had the build for uh, three days, uh, but I only remembered to hit record one night. So, <laughs> this is my first build night that you're seeing right here. 
Um, but yeah, I totally just, I just totally spaced it out. I just kind of got into a rhythm building and just didn't think of hitting the record button. So uh, yeah, I think there's about 12 minutes of footage here. We kind of get the first little bits of um, the layout put down. But yeah, we'll go through a real time uh, look around. It's going to look way different, like way, way different <laughs> uh, when we jump into that. So uh, yeah, like I said, I think this has about another minute, minute and a half or so to go. So let's you go ahead and finish that out. But I will go ahead and see you on the other side of this cut for the real time portion. portion of Pine Mountain Sanctuary and yeah you might notice a little bit of a difference uh, right when we get to the um, entrance area here so yeah this was something that um, I told the crew that I would tackle um, a few weeks ago and yeah I finally did it we have a parking lot here at least the start of a parking lot I think I want to kind of expand it out a little bit more and uh, put a few more details in there but I did want to at least get the uh, the general layout and everything kind of going for it um, and yeah so here you go you have the um, kind of the main parking lot there and then I call like the tree section you know how you have different sections in parking lot and everything I, I imagine this would be like the tree section and then the main parking lot so um, I kind of have different ideas it'd be kind of fun to maybe put like I don't know maybe an old hotel or motel maybe just like a little strip over here of um like buildings that kind of you know are outside of pine mountain sanctuary that kind of service it and stuff like that or uh popped up because it was there and stuff like that so i don't know i gotta talk to the crew maybe we can get some lore kind of going uh, uh but yeah overall got the parking lot started and um yeah might be seeing some more details added to that uh over time but let's go ahead and fly on in we're in our drone footage here of course so <laughs> and as we go in the uh, into the sanctuary here you can see right in the middle that is where our um, our cougar area is so uh, yeah right down here we have Zeus I think this was his first build that he did for the um the uh, we're just gonna find out I, I can't remember which bear it is in here but I want to say the uh, the right one there watch that oh, there's not even any but there they are there's the for, uh, Formosans yeah so you got the black bear uh, in there and then right above is the cougar and then right next to the cougar is uh, Savannah's eagles and everything like that so yeah that just kind of gives you a little bit of a glimpse of where we're at as far as the zoo goes and everything so yeah but here you go here's the entire area here's the back end that we kind of saw um you start and everything but here's how it kind of came and finished out so yeah as you're kind of hanging out down here again you get these really cool views 
Um, as you're looking at the black bears, you can kind of poke your head up and be like, hey, is that a cougar going up there? And a lot of times, yeah, you can just kind of see it walking along the path right here. So um, if not for the mesh fence, it would almost look like it was all one habitat together kind of thing, right? So, um, yep, got that. And then uh, I added in this little path on the side here very last minute just because I kind of realized uh, this whole thing over here was just kind of open and there's maybe some trees or whatever. But I kind of realized that you didn't have any views inside of the this back half here from anywhere except for down here. So uh, yeah, just kind of made this little jut out right there on top of some uh, rocks and all that fun stuff. Uh, so you can actually get a little bit of a view, you know, inside of the um, inside of the cougar area and stuff. So there is that, but let's kind of go in through the front, or I guess the way that you quote unquote are supposed to go in. Um, but yeah, as we go over here, we'll cross the bridge first. There we go. So yeah, as we cross our bridge on in, there you go, here's our kind of big main first look uh, down this little strip here. We'll kind of talk about all the fun buildings in the back there, but first you have this fun little uh, glass viewing area inside this cave structure. Oh, perfect timing, look at that. Go ahead, use the scratch and post like you do, you big kitty cat you. Uh, but yeah, get these really cool views. A lot of times um, the cougar will come up here and just kind of lay down on the rocks and stuff because it's kind of out of the uh, way of uh, guest view a lot of the times. So oh, that's perfect right there. <laughs> uh, so yeah, you have your little cave viewing right there. And here's the, um, like I was saying before, the back half of the uh, backstage building and everything. So you can see the cage here, the, cli uh, the climbing cage. I almost imagine that it, this is all it was when it first opened, the cougar enclosure that is. Like this was all that they maybe had. Uh, for the first little bit and then the interior as well which we'll take a look at and then maybe this was added on later on but it just kind of feels like this is like what they started with and then later on they're like oh hey we got some grant money or you know whatever we can kind of expand out the uh the cougar enclosure so speaking of the interiors and everything let's go ahead and take a look inside because we do get a peek behind there we go so here's our interior big shout out to a bunch of workshop people for their awesome uh, workshop items to put in here and then yeah here's the uh, look inside the uh, cougar enclosure a few little climbing things to get in and out towards the cage area uh, now that I'm looking at this it's like dang I probably could put some more detail in here but you know that's how it goes with uh, builds isn't it you go back and take a look and you're like dang I could have done this this that and the other thing um, but anyways yeah here's our uh, look at the backstage area here i um, added in a window um, I can't remember if I read this or heard it on I think it was one of the uh, animal planet zoo shows where they talked about having needing to have a window for the keeper to look inside of the entire enclosure uh, so essentially yeah your keepers either need to have um, a monitor system like a security system a CCTV system or they have to have um, a few windows by the door um, when they leave the enclosure to be able to see the animal like where it's at at all times kind of thing zookeepers are people that work at zoos are no more about zoos which is like everyone uh, than me <laughs> comment down below let me know if um, that that rings true if that sounds familiar or not so uh, but yeah, as we leave our interior section there yeah let's talk about this so here we have this little uh, restaurant back here it's not functioning as far as guests go uh, but when we look at the interior you'll see that it's kind of functioning um, but yeah this might look familiar to a few people if you followed me um, followed this channel and followed Zooten Tower. Uh, this was actually built uh, by Wyatt Andrews Workshop. I actually have a few builds from him uh, in this uh, in this area here. So this was uh, again from Zooten Towers. I think this was based off of a California Disney's California Adventure um, building, like the old mill or something like that. Uh, but it's, anyways, uh, essentially, yeah, this is a uh, fun little restaurant. And I recolored the heck out of it. I spent a lot of time recoloring all these boards and uh, all the main color of the building and everything to kind of give it that Pine Mountain Sanctuary feel to it. But again, um, all the credit for the actual awesome build here goes to... Um, oh, hey, look at that. I actually missed some right there. I got to go back through and change it. Uh, shout out to uh, Wyatt Andrews because, yeah, this uh, fits in perfectly there. I think I was saying before, there is even... If you haven't seen this building before, there is even an interior. None of it works, of course, but it looks awesome. Sponsored by Pepsi. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, really big uh, shout out to Wyatt Andrews. And I know there's a lot of um, workshop items in here from like Creative Games and other people as well. Um, so yeah, really big shout out to all of them. Turned out really cool, fit in perfectly there. Um, and then yeah, also behind here, behind the restaurant, you have this little walkway um, that leads up to the uh, second path. There's only two ways as of right now to get to this second level of Pine Mountain Sanctuary. The first is all the way back here where all the guests are crowding up. This always happens when you first let guests in the zoo. They all get uh, stuck right here looking at the binturong. Uh, but this is the only way up 
to see the cougars um, at the time, or when I was building this. So yeah, I had to make the start of a uh, another entrance right here. So those are the only two entrances up to this area right now. Uh, but anyways, yeah, this uh, back path, um, this path behind here, kind of decorated it out with another one of uh, Wyatt Andrews' builds here, and this is his uh, Orwell Zoo um, sunshade cover essentially. Now this originally was like really, really wide, really long, but I kind of shortened it up uh, to kind of fit into the area and added a bunch of foliage to it. But again, it fit in really, really well. Love the architecture of it, love the style of it. So we put it over this little seating area over there. Uh, and again, big shout out to uh, Haribo. These are Haribo's walls here. Uh, I know these have been kind of used in almost everyone's builds, it seems like now, but uh, you'd almost think that these are base game items at this point. But uh, though these are built by uh, the awesome Haribo, so shout out to them for these great walls that everyone always uses. Uh, but yeah, no, that's just kind of a little um, seating area for our restaurant. And then the last big thing that I did for this build was I went ahead and connected uh, S Dorks, S Dan's awesome visitor center. If y'all haven't seen this episode, do be sure to go check out the uh, Pine Mountain Visitor Center here. Look at this. This is so good looking. Um, but yeah, I went ahead and there was this little uh, trail. Not even a trail. It almost looked like a trail, but this little area back here um, where the uh, rocks, the mountain, just kind of kept going over here and just blocking it all off. I kind of opened that up and made like a little uh, little walking trail that you can kind of get back between uh, if you'd like to. So it kind of makes uh, connects this whole area up essentially. It just kind of gets this whole area in a big circle. I like to build, um, I like to play it out in circles so there's no dead ends kind of thing if I can help it as I make a big dead end right here. But anyways, yeah, if I can help it, I always try and make my uh, projects have flow and don't, don't dead end kind of thing. So but anyways, like I said, I think that's about it there, my friends. I have to go through, and now that I see it here, I have to go through and change the colors there on the uh, on the old mill restaurant back there. Um, but except for that, yeah, I am finished up for my time in Pine Mountain Sanctuary. Uh, so yeah, definitely uh, comment down below. Let me know, what do you think of the cougar habitat? I was so excited that the crew let me build for the cougar. Because uh, again, it was my favorite animal that I saw from the pack there. Um, except for the beaver. The beaver is definitely high up there. And I think we're going to get um, the beaver build coming up here very soon from either Estan or someone else but uh, but yeah no do expect that um this is the first of many North America uh, inspired you know DLC builds coming your way for Pine Mountain Sanctuary so if you're not already be sure to subscribe to uh, you know Simply Savannah Zoof and um Estan Wolf and I'll link all their channels down below like always there so yeah again let me know what do you think of the new North America DLC what do you think of my build here in Pine Mountain Sanctuary what's your favorite animal from the new DLC and uh yeah like I said keep an eye out for on one of the um, one of the other dorks channels there so you can keep an eye on the next um, episode there of pine mountain sanctuary so hey thanks so much everyone, for hanging out always do appreciate it if this is your first time hanging out don't forget hit that subscribe button stay up to date with all the fun videos we are going to get back into videos again i know i took a break for about a month but videos will start coming out again um and yeah also hit the like button as i thought the channel helps out the video very much so so hey thanks again everyone, for hanging out always do appreciate it and until the next episode there have a good one